Welcome to English Grammar and Writing Skills course of Edubom EdTech. You are watching the video with Manisha Bedi and the topic for the video is Today we are going to talk about different case scenarios or different uses of prepositions. Okay. Now, let's see them one by one. Okay. First of all, always remember that prepositions are always placed. Prepositions are, prepositions means placed before positions means position means place pre means before okay so prepositions are always placed before prepositions are always placed before its object that means noun or pronoun so prepositions are always placed before its object that is noun or pronoun but sometimes but although this is the rule but again you know that we always have to come through some of the exceptional some of the exceptional cases okay so prepositions mean to prepositions has to be placed before its object it is noun or pronoun but sometimes but sometimes it is placed it is placed after object okay after the object okay now let's see for some example let's say for example if i'm saying that to whom are you talking तुम किससे बात कर रही हो तुम किससे बात कर रही हो ठीक है तो अगर हम अगर हम लोगों को ये सिंपली बोलना है दैट टू होम आर यू टॉकिंग ओके तो इन दैट केस हाउ यू गोइंग टू से इट आई यू गोइंग टू यूज टू होम आर यू टॉकिंग दिस शुड दिस शुड हैव बिन दी वे बिकॉज आई ऑलरेडी हैव टोल मेम्बर्स ऑलरेडी से हैं कि नहीं प्रेपोजिशन शुड ऑलवेज कम बिफोर नाउन और प्रोनाउन ओके बट इफ यू यूज सेंटेंस लाइक दिस दैट टू होम आर यू टॉकिंग दिस विल बी इन ओके okay, ये हो जाना है गलत इंस्टेड यू शुड हैव टू से दैट हु आर यू टॉकिंग टू हु आर यू टॉकिंग टू नाउ दिस इज द करेक्ट फॉर्म सो यू सी हाउ डज द एक्सेप्शन वर्क बिकॉज वी ऑलरेडी सेड दैट द प्रपोजिशन मस्ट ऑलवेज कम बिफोर नाउन और प्रोनाउन it must always come before the object okay so we followed the rule and we did that and what we got we got zero okay so there are some exceptional cases where prepositions are placed after the object instead of putting it before okay now let's go through the second one okay the second one is use of of ya yeah, from okay use of of or from now of is used when you are talking about sudden or accidental sudden or accidental separation okay and from is used when you are talking about planned or a natural separation now why i am talking about both of the uses because sometimes when you are asked to use a proper form of preposition okay then you cannot figure out i have seen most of the students making mistakes they cannot figure out that in that sentence where you have to use either there would be um of would be used or from would be used okay so this might sound little problematic to you but again i'm going to give you a trick to remember that when will be the of used and when will be the from used so always remember that of will be used when we are talking about a sudden or accidental separation while from will be used when you are talking about a planned or natural kind of 
separation okay now let's see from example it will be more easier to explain like if i say that he fell off the stairs he fell off the stairs while playing okay he fell off the stairs while playing ठीक है खेलते खेलते वो सीढ़ी से नीचे गिर गया तो यहाँ पे इफ यू अंडरस्टैंड यू सी दैट यूज ऑफ ऑफ वाई वी हैव यूज ऑफ एंड वाई यू हैव एंड यूज फ्रॉम बहुत सारे बहुत सारे बच्चे मेक मिस्टेक्स या वी ऑल्सो मेक मिस्टेक्स ऐसा होता है दैट यू विल सी पीपल सेइंग दैट ही फेल फ्रॉम दी स्टेयर्स ही फेल फ्रॉम दी स्टेयर्स वाइल प्लेइंग नो इट्स अ बिग नो इंस्टेड यू हैव टू से ही फेल ऑफ दी स्टेयर्स वाइल प्लेइंग okay and if you listen to uh, listen to this it will sound more sophisticated also okay that he fell off these stairs while playing ko sunita to bolega agar aapne kabhi angrezi nahi bhi boli hogi english nahi bhi boli hogi and if anyone listens they will be like oh my god they know how to speak english very impressive okay so he fell off these stairs while playing okay it sounds more it sounds more correct and it sounds more better so he fell off these stairs Off is used when you are talking about sudden or accidental separation that happened here. Sudden, uh, sudden event, accidental. वो खेल रहा था बेचारा खुशी से तो थोड़ी पता था सीढ़ी से गिर जाएगा, ठीक है? तो it happened suddenly. Now let's talk about from. Example of from. Like if I say that paper is made from wood. Paper is made from wood. ये तो हमने जान मुझ के किया मैं पता है कि लकड़ी से बनते हैं कागज. ठीक है? ये तो हमने जान मुझ के किया. या फिर अगर मैं बोलूँ that Cheese is made from. Cheese is made from milk. पता है हमें अब कितने लोग बोल देंगे इसे cheese is made of milk? No. Cheese is made of milk. No. Cheese is made from milk. इसे हम naturally separate करते हैं इसको हम plan करके करते कि नहीं आज तो भाई पनीर खाने का मन हो रहा है चलो आज बैठ के चीज निकालते हैं फ्रॉम मिल्क ओके सो नाउ यू अंडरस्टैंड द डिफरेंस बिटवीन यूज ऑफ ऑफ एंड यूज ऑफ फ्रॉम ऑफ मींस व्हेन यू आर टॉकिंग अबाउट अ सडन और एनी एक्सीडेंटल काइंड ऑफ सेपरेशन बोथ आर यूज्ड ऑफ एंड फ्रॉम बोथ आर यूज्ड फॉर फॉर द सेपरेशन ओके एंड दैट इज व्हाई इफ यू आर गोइंग टू गेट थ्रू सम ऑफ द क्वेश्चंस वेयर यू हैव टू अ चूज अ करेक्ट फॉर्म ऑफ प्रेपोजिशन आउट ऑफ दिस टू दैट वेदर यू नीड टू यूज ऑफ और फ्रॉम then just remember one thing that of and from these two prepositions are used for whenever you are explaining about separation okay but of will be used when you are talking about a sudden or accidental separation and from will be used when you are talking about planned or a natural separation okay so let's check out the third use okay now the third use is Use of, with, or by. Okay. Use of, with, or by. Again, this also might sound little confusing to you. Okay. Don't worry. I'm going to help you. Now, with is used for instrumental application. Okay. If with is used. Used for instrumental instrumental application. Application means use. Instrumental use means any object use. Why I have used instrument word here? Because if I would say object, then you might get confused that maybe ma'am is trying to refer about subject and object. That is why I have referred instrument instead of object. I have in uh, I have. I used instrument here. Okay, so in used for instrumental application means whenever you are uh, using, whenever you are using instrument in any kind of sentence. Let's say for example, if I say that he struck the dog, he struck the dog with a stick. होता है ना कुछ बच्चे जिन्हें चैन से बैठने में मन नहीं लगता. और बाहर निकले बस कुत्तों को देखा नहीं कि बस लकड़ी उठाया और मार रहे हैं बेचारों को ठीक है ना ये जो यूज ऑफ विथ हैज बिन यूज वाई बिकॉज ही स्ट्रक द डॉग विथ स्टिक सो इफ यू सी दैट हाउ ही इज स्ट्रकिंग हाउ हैज ही हाउ हैज ही बिन स्ट्रकिंग द डॉग बाई दी हेल्प ऑफ स्टिक सो इफ वॉट इज स्टिक स्टिक इज इंस्ट्रूमेंट सो 
टॉक को मारने के लिए दे हैव यूज एन इंस्ट्रूमेंट देर इज एन इंस्ट्रूमेंटल एप्लीकेशन सो इन दैट केस यू यू वुड यूज विथ इंस्टेड ऑफ बाय ओके लेट्स सी वेन विल बी दाई यूज सो बाई कैन बी यूज इन डिफरेंट सीनारियोज वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट थ्री सीनारियोज वन बाई वन ओके सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल बाई कैन बी यूज बाई कैन बी यूज फॉर ट्रैवलिंग for traveling resources or transport or when you're talking about or when you are referring to any living person let's say for example if i say that um if i say that he went to he went to lucknow by flight he went to lucknow by flight so again use of by has been used here for a traveling resource okay or a traveling or to show a kind of public transport to show the mode of transport so in that case you use by okay now let's see the different scenario when you are talking about time okay like i will reach by 5 pm okay or i will come by evening i will reach by 5 pm so use of by is basically to express the sense of time now third scenario is when it is also used in sense of it is also used in the sense of beside okay sense of beside for both living means it can be used for both living and non living okay beside means it is used in the sense of by the side of okay like if i say that a river flows by my house means a river basically i am referring to a non living a non living thing and again i am saying a river flows by my house means a river flows by the side of my house okay so these are three different scenarios where uh, use of by is done otherwise with is used with will be only used whenever there is an instrumental application so from next time i hope you won't get confused between the use of with or by okay now we are going to talk about the use of okay the fourth use that is the use of beside or besides the use of beside or besides now when will be b side use and when will be the b sides use b side means by the side of and b sides means in addition to okay first of all understand the meaning b side means by the side of b sides means in addition to in addition to okay like if i say that if i have to say that he sat beside me he sat beside me means wo mere mere bagal mein aake baith gaya okay he sat beside me besides beside means he takes let's say for example he takes private tuitions he take private tuitions besides his job means in addition with his job he take private tuitions too he offers private tuitions too so this is the difference between beside and besides and this is how you are going to use both of these okay let's talk about the next use
the next use is the use of between or among use of between or among between So between is basically used, you know this, between is basically used when you are talking about any two person or things, okay? Or between can also, okay, let's talk about different scenarios of between. First of all, between can be used for, between is used for two persons or things okay this is a common scenario which you already have talked which you already might have seen and like used in your daily lives like if i say that choose choose between the two or choose between these two dresses okay so in that case, if I'm saying this means again, I am giving you two options or if I'm saying if I am giving you two options of dress or dress that is thing, I'm giving you two options of thing. If I say that choose between these two dresses. So here I am asking you to choose from two things. Okay, two things that is two dresses. So again, in this case, you are going to make use of between. Now, what is the next scenario? The another scenario is that between can also be used for more than two. How? Let's see. How it can be used for more than two? Like if I have to say that the father, the father distributed the property distributed his ancestral property let's say his ancestral property between his four sons so again if you see that this sentence has basically more than two people more than two there are four sons so between can also be used between can also be used B E T and like then I have actually used the uh, shorter form don't get confused please okay so between can also be used whenever you're talking about more than two persons or more than two, two things so consider this that in case of distribution in case of contribution or distribution this scenario can exist okay so used for more than two between can be used for more than two in case of contribution or distribution here things are getting distributed things are being distributed okay now let's see the third scenario the third scenario is to show a mutual relationship to show a mutual relationship this is the third scenario where you are, where you can use between okay now let's see for example if i say that there is a match between there is a match between india and pakistan okay there is a match between india and pakistan again if you see that they are showing a mutual relationship between india between these two countries the relationship between two these these two countries okay so these are three different scenarios where use of between is done is permissible okay now let's talk about when is among used among is used and among is always used for more than two persons okay let's say for example if i say that he is the he is the best singer he is the best singer among all the students. He is the best singer among all the students. So if you see here, 
I am considering more than two persons. So among is always considered whenever you are talking about more than two persons and between can be considered in these three other kinds of scenarios. Okay. Now let's see the next one, the next use. The next use is the use of among or amongst. Okay, amongst, amongst. You just have to add st at the end, uh, end of among. So first is among, the second one is amongst. Okay, now let's consider when, our, when, when we are going to use among and amongst. Their scenarios C. Both of them are among and amongst. We already considered about, um, about among and amongst. I'm uh, sorry, among. So we already have told one thing that both are used when we are talking about more than two person or thing. Okay? More than two person or thing. But what's the difference between among or amongst? C. Both of these will always be used whenever we are considering more than two. More than two, it can be anything, person, thing, or object, anything. Okay. So, what is the difference between the two? Among is used. Among is used for consonant sound. Okay. And amongst is used for vowel sound. How? Let's see for example, if I have to say among them, among them starting from the sounds like consonant has a consonant sound. So in this case, I will say among them. But if I have to say amongst all, if I have to use all, in that case, I am going to make use of amongst. Why? Because all starts with all, that is all that is a vowel. And also sounds like all has a vowel sound. So whenever you are considering any word which has a vowel sound, in that case, use of amongst will be done. And if you are considering any word which has a consonant sound, in that case, use of among is done. So this is a little trick. This is a little trick about how to use among and amongst in different uh, scenarios. Now, use of, use of, make of or make from. It is basically the same as we already have talked about of or from, but again, let's see how does this work. Make of or make from. So that even if they are adding make at the initial of offer from you might, you must not get confused okay. So make off will be used see make off and make from. Make off means when the form of used material doesn't change okay because I think make off no. So when the form of used material doesn't change okay or if I say that or in other words it make from it will be that when the form of used material changes okay used material changes how let's see if I'm using make off if I'm using make off like if uh, if I say that the table is the table is made of fine wood. Okay, the table is made of fine wood. Okay, here the form of used material doesn't change. How? Because we used wood, and table is table is what it's a it's a nice form of a wood. Table bhi kya? Table bhi to lakdi hai. But it is a nicest form. It is a sober form of the wood. Okay. So table is made of fine wood. That means the form of used material has not been changed here. But in case of make from. 
in case of make from uh, make from mixing made of don't get confused between me if i have used me if i have used past tense it's make and made is the past tense of make okay so made of will be used when the form of used material doesn't change let's see the make from when will the make from used like if i say that cheese is cheese is made from milk okay so why i have used made from here because if you see the consistency of milk and consistency of cheese both are very much different okay cheese kaise banate hain milk ko bahut zyada garam kiya vinegar ya fir curd bahut curd dal ke khatta kuch bhi aise sour lemon ya kuch bhi vinegar ya kuch use karke hum banate hain cheese theek hai in that case what happens milk is basically milk jo hota hai usme bilkul watery jaisi consistency hoti hai theek hai व्हाइट लिक्विड जैसी कंसिस्टेंसी होती है बिल्कुल बट चीज़ में क्या होता है वेन एवर यू ट्राइंग टू मेक चीज एक अलग से एक वॉटरी लेयर अलग हो जाता है और बाकी जितना भी चीज का जितना भी बच जाता है वट हैपन्स कि जब अभी वोट ऑफ सीन के मिल्क बुकी तो उसे कर्डल एक कर्डल टाइप का बन के निकलता है ठीक है वो अलग हो जाता है वाटरी कंसिस्टेंसी जो होती है वो अलग हो जाती है एंड कर्ड जो है वो इट फॉर्म्स अ वे टाइप पोर्शन ना वे टाइप पोर्शन बन जाता है तो यू वुड सी दैट कभी कभी घर में ट्राई किया हुआ तो आपने देखा हुआ तो वट इज़ बेसिकली हैपनिंग हेयर इज कि मिल्क की कंसिस्टेंसी जो है वो बिल्कुल अलग थी और जो चीज़ की कंसिस्टेंसी यहाँ पे वो बिल्कुल क्या है बिल्कुल अलग है ठीक है सो इन दिस केस इन द सेकेंड एग्जाम्पल वॉट जस्ट हैपन इज दैट द फॉर्म ऑफ यूज मटेरियल चेंज ओके द फॉर्म ऑफ यूज मटेरियल चेंज ना now okay let's see the eight use it is the use of the use of for or during okay let's talk about use of for or during so when is for used and when is during used okay let's learn about both of them so <clears throat> before learning about both of these two remember that for and during both of these are used to show period of time or you can say time period okay both of these are show to both of these are sorry both of these are used to show period of time or time period okay let's say when is for used for is used used to show a particular time period okay to show a time period okay like i need your book for a day okay so it shows a particular time period that kitne din ke liye mujhe tumhari book chahiye to ek din ke liye book chahiye okay now during during shows something during shows something continuing continuing in a time period like he must be working during the day he doesn't uh, he must be working during the day or he will he will stay with me he will stay uh, with me during evening okay so it shows something which is continuing in a time period okay like for can be that if i say that i need your book 
for a day फिर इट शोज अ टाइम पीरियड अ डेफिनेट टाइम पीरियड डेट इज फॉर अ डे एक दिन के लिए ड्यूरिंग इज इट वेन इट शोज समथिंग कंटिन्यूइंग इन अ टाइम पीरियड कंटिन्यूइंग इन अ टाइम पीरियड लाइक इफ आई से दैट लेट से दैट आई विल स्टे एट माई ग्रैंड माज हाउस ड्यूरिंग हॉलीडेज Okay, or during my holidays, I will stay at grandma's house during my holidays. So again, use of during basically talks about something which is continuing a time period. Time period means uh, time period is his holidays. So, जब तक छुट्टियाँ हैं, तब तक I am going to stay at my grandma's place. Okay. So this is the difference between for and during. Both of them talks about both of both of them tells us about a time period. But there is a minor difference between the two. That is, for is used to show a time period, while during is used to show something which is continuing in a time period. Okay. So let's talk about the next use. Okay. Let's talk about the next use. The so next use is use of. Of or off, okay? O F or O double F. Now, if you talk about off, that is with single F. In that case, you are talking. This is a preposition which is used for joining. When you talk about joining, it is a preposition of joining. Okay? Like if I say that he is the member of our family, means I mean to join. I mean to connect him with our family. Okay, so he is the member of my family. Okay. Or if I'm saying O F F, that means it is again a preposition, but it is an opposite preposition of separation. Preposition of separation. Like if I say that he jumped off the building. Okay, he jumped off the building. So again, it shows the O double F basically shows preposition of separation, while preposition of joining is uh, shown by the help of O F. Okay, so remember the minor difference between the two. Now, let's talk about the next use. The next one is the use of through. Or across, okay. Use of through or across. Now, when is through used, and when do we use across? Okay, so through is basically used for an entry or an exit. Okay, so there can be different scenarios. Like if you are talking about entry or an exit, like he we walked. Like if I say that we walked through the tunnel, here it represents the entry and the exit, right? In different case scenario, if a uh, through can be used uh, to show any kind of medium. Like if I say that I sent a book, I sent a book. Through my servant, through my servant means मैं ने servant के द्वारा servant के द्वारा मैंने I lent my book, I gave my book to servant and told him that he will give the book to you. Okay, so this is a medium. It is showing a medium. So through can be used to show to represent entry or exit, or it can be used to show the medium. Okay. Now let's see the next use. The next use is. of across across means a cross means means from one side from one side to another let like, let's say for example if i say that he walked he walked across the trees okay or if i say that my village is across the bridge it means my village is one side to it it is the other side of the bridge that means the other side of the bridge 
he walked across the bridge means he walked the other side of the bridge okay now the second scenario is that a cross is can also be represented to show the opposite side same thing okay opposite side also like if i say that my brother leaves my brother leaves across the river okay across the river so when we are talking about my he walked across the bridge means he walked from one side to another means passing through the bridge from one side to another and it can also be represented to show the other side or the opposite side like if i say my brother lies across the uh, my brother leaves sorry leaves across the river okay means on the opposite side of the yeah on the other side of the river okay now let's see the next use the next use is of on or upon so when he is on and upon used now on means on means it is used to basically represent on means in touch of each other in touch of each other upon means in motion okay on means in touch of each other in touch of uh, each other like if i say that the book is on the table means what do you understand by this do you, would you say book is upon the table no why because the book is in touch with the table okay the book surface is in this uh, touch with the uh, the surface of the table so if uh, or you can say in it is in the book is in contact with the table so if there is any contact or if it's there in touch okay in that case you make use of on otherwise in case of upon upon is used when you are talking about any kind of motion like if i say that the cat jumped the cat jumped upon the rat okay the cat jumped upon the rat the tom jumped upon the zeri theek hai now if you see here the cat jumped means it is basically representing a motion so whenever in case of or whenever you are representing a motion in that case you are going to make use of upon unlike when we are talking about on it should be in touch of each other so this is a difference between on and upon although they might sound similar although their use might sound similar but it's not okay now the next one is the use of on time or the use of in time now like i'm going to represent both of the things with the help of example let's see if i have to say that the examination starts on time starts on time that is like we are talking about a particular time so it will start on time let's like say on 9 uh, o'clock okay or if i say that i have to i have to reach the center in time okay in time let's say if my exam starts around 9 am okay if my exam starts around 9 am that means my examination is uh, the examination starts on 9 am means the examination starts on time it will be timely okay so i have to reach the center in time in time means i need to reach the center prior 9 am before 9 am okay so before 9 am spend uh, like save that time and then in that particular zone of time i, I have to reach the center okay so this is a difference between on time and in time means in time like see the name itself is it in time means whatever the event or the uh, event or the purpose has to happen it should be in time 
okay in time means there is a duration of time and in that duration of time you have to complete that specific event okay on time means there is a particular time zone like let's say nine o'clock you have to be there at nine o'clock you should reach on time you should be on time means dot dot nine a the next one is the use of beyond the use of beyond now beyond can have again two kinds of scenarios like beyond can be used in sense of in sense of out of okay in sense of out of like if i would say like um, this work is this work is beyond my capacity okay if i say that this work is beyond my capacity means this work is out of my capacity okay now uh, let's visit the second scenario if i say that if i have to talk about or if it is in sense of longer distances if it is in sense of longer distances let's say for example if i will say that he went he went beyond mountains okay or if i say that he you went beyond limits okay so all of these things is basically in sense of longer distances okay in case of longer distances so it can be used to represent out of or it can be used to represent a longer di longer distances okay now the next scenario is use of at okay use of at that is now this is very much important uh, students might get confused or even if like anyone can get confused there are chances that you might get confused while using of at or in okay but this will be cleared now when i am going to give you some of the tips like i am going to make you understand some of the uh, scenarios like see in first case at can be used to, uh, for a fixed amount of time when you are talking about a fixed amount of time okay like if i say that he will he will come at 6 o'clock that means i am talking here about a fixed amount of time why i can say that uh, i am talking about fixed amount of time because here they have mentioned the time so mentioning time means there is a fixed thing like even if if you are announcing any event then you uh, what uh, how do we how do other people know that the event is like it is going to happen if the event is certain it uh, jab jab tak aap venue jab tak aap time place or how many people are invited and invitations nahi bhejte ho no one believes in you right so for anything to happen there should be a fixed and certain amount described there okay so at is used to uh, at is used in sense of fixed amount of time when we are talking about fixed amount of time okay let's see the second case the second case is that before the name of any colony okay before the name of colony like uh, i can say that let's say for example we live at we live at preet bihar okay it's a name of colony preet bihar in delhi okay so in these cases if you see that uh, what i did was what i did here was that if i am using the name of colony then before that again at is used okay so if i am talking about a fixed amount of time if i am talking about a before then if i am talking about any name of colony before that at is going to be used now next scenario is for smaller areas for smaller areas or cities okay for smaller areas or cities like if i say that he lives at always remember whenever you are talking about bigger area or bigger cities or state okay in that case you make use of in you won't ever say that he lives at mumbai no he will say that he lives in mumbai but if you have to say that um he lives um, like he lives at agra 
he lives in the if you have to talk about that he is in agra or something like that in that case you are going to say that he lives at agra okay because at is used with smaller areas and cities okay but unlike in the cases of when you whenever you are talking about bigger cities or states now the next one is if you are talking about a static location or a fixed location or position okay like if i say that he is at home or he must be at home okay so that is a static location that is a fixed location that is a fixed position okay now next scenario is that it is used with day uh, break or noon or night let's say for example if i have to say that this place looks lovely this place looks lovely at night okay so these are the different scenarios where at is used first of all whenever you are going to talk about whenever you are talking about any fixed amount of time okay whenever you are talking about a fixed amount of time like he will come at 6 o'clock or when you are talking about any name of colony any name of colony not only delhi any name of colony in any part of world wherever you are okay in that case you are going to use at if you are going to talk you are talking about any smaller area or cities you know the states country it is all are big okay but area or any city or district is are small so in these cases you are going to make use of at again whenever you are talking about any static location or position in that case again you are going to make use of at it is used with day break noon or night in this case scenario again you are going to make use of at okay now the next one is use of in i already have given you the hint in will always be used with the bigger cities it will be used with bigger cities or states or capital or country or when you are talking about a country like i will say will i say he lives in or at mumbai what will be the correct answer the correct answer will be he lives in mumbai why because mumbai is big mumbai is a state okay Okay, so he lives in Mumbai. Why are you going to use uh, Mumbai? Because you are talking about a bigger city. Okay, so whenever you are talking about bigger city or a state or a capital or when you are talking about a country that she lives in states. Okay, again states is a country. So this way, if you see that whenever you are talking about anything big, in that case you make sure that you are making use of in instead of at. Or the next example is that if I am saying that we are sitting. in the classroom again i am talking about a big area i am si we are sitting in the classroom okay so again you are going to make use of in 
so remember these things that whenever you are talking about smaller places smaller areas at that case you are going to use at and whenever you are talking about anything bigger then you are going to make use of in now the next use is use of to okay use of to so to can be used in different scenarios again to can be used for whenever you are talking about any kind of like whenever you are talking about destination let's say that if i'm if you have to say that he is going to school where is he going he is going to school here you are talking about a destination school is the destination wo kahan ja raha hai to wo school ja raha hai school is the his is its is his goal school is his destination it is used for proximity proximity means proximity means kya proximity means pass koi bhi cheez pass hona theek hai like he went to her he went to her usko hindi mein kya bolenge wo uske pass kya theek hai he went to her now it is also used to tell time like if i would say that i lived here i lived here from may to december okay i lived here from may to december again it is used to tell time or it can be used when you are talking about it it can be used for comparisons for making comparisons like if i would say that he was junior he was junior to all his friends okay so in all these scenarios you will see that it can be used for destination okay if he is going to school is going to market is going to a uh, mall or anything like that it is it can be used for proximity he went to her wo uske paas kya means whenever you are trying to say something like uske paas yeah anything third is used to tell time i lived here from may to december kab se kab tak then used to tell time now the fourth one is used for comparison like he was junior to all his friends okay in this thing you are basically making a comparison he you are making the comparison uske aur uske doston ke beech ke comparison kar rahe ho hum bata rahe ki wo chhota hai means chhota hai to all his friends okay so i hope the users and the different rules of prepositions is clear to you in the next video we are going to practice out some of the questions related to prepositions